Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Jeremy, the quarterling and unsleeved media. His decording channel was banned. It was banned or mass flagged by either Wizards of the Coast or it got taken down from YouTube totally, completely terminated for violating YouTubers community guidelines. And you can't even see any of his videos. Now, why is that? How does that relate to me? Well, a lot of my videos got flagged and terminated 10 videos in total. I don't know if they were running advertisements or whatever was happening, but I had to make them private, which actually doesn't solve any problems. So what is this issue about? It is about judges. It is about magic the gathering judges and the fact that uh, they, you know, Wizard of the Coast is very strong. Hasbro is very strong. They're taking down every video. So instead of having a interactive talk and discussion on how better to improve the safety for children, they've decided to flag and take down and use their power. Hasbro, probably in particular, to delete Jeremy's decoding channel and delete several of my videos not delete the videos it's kind of hard to explain the videos are uh, they have a community strike on them uh, that means that if you accumulate three of them they can terminate your account now i don't think my videos were too bad and all this news is public they're really just screenshots but obviously jeremy got his entire channel got shut down and it's wizards of the coast uh, Wizards of the Coast, a lane chase. So, what is next? Uh, what is next for the channel? We're not going to change course. If what happens, happens, then it happens. Um, but I'm not going to back down because that's what they want you to do. They want to take away your channel, they want to take away your power. And they want to brush it on as, quote, misinformation and to end that. So Jeremy pointed out that there were four sex offenders in the judge program and that was classified as misinformation in that one video. And they took down his entire channel. This was Wizards of the Coast. This was Hasbro. My channel may be next. Uh, they didn't take down my channel. Obviously, I still have it. But they did take down multiple videos. Nine, no, actually, ten videos are gone now. And those videos weren't monetized anyway, so I don't really care. But at the same time, it is quite scary. It is very scary how Hasbro can take away your YouTube account. And... Here's what they did. Publish your statement off the main channel. Call me a liar despite published evidence. Lie about your policy. Pass the buck on to the judge program. This company is just all types of uh, bad. And if they take down my channel, I will sue them. And I know what to sue them under. I know where I can, uh, the grounds where I can possibly win. But it's bad. Uh, it is very bad because at the end of the day, it silences this conversation. They silence Jeremy. So that's it. Um, that is it. Now he has a new channel called Unsleep Media Coverage which is obviously based on his old channel, Unsleeve Media, but it doesn't have quite the number of people who follow it, and if it got very big, Hasbro would just strike him down again. I was wondering, to, wondering when the aha moment would be where Hasbro just decided, no, no more. I felt Hasbro would have sued Jeremy, but this one is a little more elegant. They don't need to get into a legal battle. They just need to take away Jeremy's channel, which is what they did. So they took down my videos. I, I don't know. I, I assume my videos weren't uh, running because they were flagged. 
And yeah, at the very end of the day, if you feel like this is something good and that you're happy the quartering is gone, no matter how much I disagree with it, I believe it has the right to exist. I believe it has the right to have open discussions. You could hate someone, but their opinions, you shouldn't hate their opinions. Even someone who you don't like can have a very interesting opinion to have a discussion. I felt like this was a good talking point, but Wizard of the Coast and Hasbro obviously do not. And it is clear to me that also that other YouTubers are now not going to speak out. And it's important for the ones that who have to not back down and have a spine. Because you know Tolarian and Wedge are definitely not going to speak out. Because losing their channel means they lose their whole livelihoods. Is this an issue worth fighting for? I believe so. I believe it is a problem. I believe having judges who are sexual offenders is a problem. It's a large problem. Uh, in any game, not just Magic the Gathering. So if you can create a system, um, a support system, a background check to limit this from happening, then that's what you need to do. Some companies will value the critique and they'll grow better and stronger because of it. Other companies like Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast, they want to sweep everything under the rug. They want to pay other YouTubers, Tolarian and Wedge, to say the good stuff about it. If everyone's a yes man, your company will fail. I guarantee it to you. Because you'll never be innovative, you'll never change, you'll never adapt, and you'll never ever evolve into something that will exist years from now. Uh, and that is the sad truth about uh, this issue. Now, am I going to appeal the 10 videos I got banned? No. I'll just let them go. They weren't monetized anyway. They don't, they don't make a big difference to me. But uh, regardless, it is quite sad to see that dissent is silenced in this way by a large company. Anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.